the trees of Snyder Farm. A peaceful sight to the unaware eye, but is that truly the case? Here, in the tops of these trees, is a completely unexplored ecosystem of insects and other animals alien to us because of its distance from our own environment, the ground. With the trees most likely providing much of the base of this food chain, we can only guess at what type of interactions and what type of damage is caused while the effects impact our beloved trees. Here, in these trees may live organisms, including, but not limited to, parasites, herbivores, ugly things with lots of legs, disease-spreading insects. Your trees will know fear. Not to be melodramatic or anything, but for all we know, it's a jungle up there. To approach this problem, we decided to go right to the source, to examine the array of species in a few select stands of trees. As entomologists, we tried everything to draw the insects from the trees for our observation. We tried reasoning with them. Hey! Hey! I, I didn't say you could eat that leaf. No! Th this is my tree. You can't eat that leaf. What? Yeah, my mother's not... Ah! Oh, you're gonna be hearing from my lawyer! Yeah! Same to you! We tried coercing them. Come on, insects, I got this nice tender leaf right here. Come on down and get it. It'll make me come up there. Go on, go get it. It ain't working, guys. We gotta try something else. We tried challenging their honor. Though ye be hardly worth my time, I will give your pathetic species a test upon my blade, unless thou be afraid of the encounter. And finally, out of options. So Dave's gonna go kill the insects. It's not good, but they were kind of asking for it. At any rate, it's out of our hands right now, so here it goes. After fogging, a wide variety of insects fall from the trees onto tarps, where they are collected and brought back to the lab. At the lab, they are studied in order to determine the species composition of the treetop insect communities. Accomplishing all of this, we hope not only to broaden our awareness about the life above our heads, but also to feed and store nutrients for the upcoming winter.